Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Gio and this is going to be a comparison and guide video to see how good Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2 days runs in 4K and how to set it up to run as smooth as possible. Firstly, for the sake of doing an in-depth comparison, I like to show you the clips separately rather than side by side since I don't want to take away from the quality of the 4K version. Since the native DS version looks better on smaller screens, if I were to show you both side by side, I don't think I'd be doing the 4K version any justice. So around the 10 minute mark I'll have a quick guide on how to replicate my settings to run this game as smooth as possible so feel free to skip there if you'd like to see that. Now I'll be showing snippets of scenes and a little gameplay from both the native and 4k versions. Also I'll be leaving a link down below to the site where you can download a modified version of the Desmune emulator which I'm using right now so you can run this at 4k since the regular version of Desmune does not support 4k. Text guide will also be available below. This emulator runs off of a proprietary renderer which they've created which loves CPU so having a half decent CPU is all you need to get this game or any game running smoothly. Literally anything above two cores will get this emulator working fine. The software requirements are any dual core CPU or above for Windows. For Mac anything above Leopard version 10.5.8 will be fine and for Linux any distribution with a 2.6 kernel with at least a gig of RAM is perfectly fine to run this. For those wondering what rig I'm using, I'm running a Ryzen 1800X. 8 core 16 thread processor with an Aorus 1080 Ti Extreme and 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM. So I'll stop rambling on for too much longer, enjoy the rest of the video and thank you for watching. If there's anything I can improve or something you didn't like or another game that you'd like to see compared in 4K, I'll consider doing that in upcoming videos. I'll also be doing a boss run playthrough of this game in 4K, so for those interested feel free to subscribe and thank you.
So firstly, you want to go on config and 3D settings and you want to enable edge marking and color interpolation along with line hat, anti-aliasing if you're running on a GPU. If you're running on a CPU, don't enable this and low quality alpha blend. And it's either going to be OpenGL or soft rasterizer on default. So you want to change it to OpenGL if you're going to run off your GPU or soft rasterizer X4 if you're running on your CPU. I'm going to choose OpenGL because I'm running on my GPU. Click OK and you'll see the difference immediately. And go to config, emulation settings and take off advanced bus level timing because it only fixes some games and for this game it doesn't do anything much and it can bug and slow down your frames and take you back to the menu if you keep this on. So definitely take this off. Keep dynamic recompiler on and that should be it. You will need to restart your game but that's it. All the settings are done. If you follow this you should be able to run this game very smoothly. <laughs> 